All my life I've been passionate about using science and the support of spirituality rather than op in opposition to it. And the value of science to religion is very clear in our understanding of God. What is God? This is the question that has perplexed humanity for eons. And yet, thanks to science, we can really begin to understand what God is. If we turn to the Bible, the first verse of John's Gospel states, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, in science, word is sound, sound is vibration, vibration is energy. And so we can translate that verse as in the beginning was the energy, and the energy was with God, and the energy was God. And so the first verse of John's Gospel defines God as energy. And if you look at the definitions of energy in science and God in religion, you find they're absolutely identical. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. God is neither created nor destroyed. Energy is everywhere, God is everywhere. Energy is everything, God is everything. Energy underlies everything, God underlies everything. Energy is the source of all power, God is almighty. All information in the universe is energy. God is all-knowing. And so, at last we have an understanding of God that is compatible with science. You see, I've been working throughout my adult life on a model for matter as the vortex of energy. This is based on ancient yogic philosophy. The yogis used their city powers to penetrate the atom and they saw that there was nothing in the atom but spin. And this model, the ball of wool, represents the corpuscular subatomic particle. And what I've discovered in this vortex physics that all the properties of matter like inertia, mass, charge, can all be explained away by spin. And through the vortex we can see graphically how energy forms mass. And what I realize is that there's no material substance underlying matter. That's an illusion created by spin. And Albert Einstein believed the same. He's difficult to understand, not because of his theories or his mathematics, but because of his worldview. Einstein said that matter and the field are real, but there's no material substance to them. And so we're left with movement. Energy means the movement within. And we have here a particle of movement at the speed of light, but there's nothing moving. And therefore, particles of energy are more like thoughts than things. They're like particles of dream, particles of imagination. And this fits with John, because a word is a particle of intelligence. A particle of consciousness, an expression of intelligence. You see, noise is sound, it's vibration, but it doesn't carry information. And that was the brilliance of John using the word, word, because words carry information. As I speak to you, my words are carrying information. So if particles, are more, particles of energy are more like thoughts than things, then the universe as a body of energy would be a mind. And that is what God is. God is the mind we call universe. And every star, every galaxy is like an abstraction, an idea, a thought in this incredible universal mind that we call God. <laughs>